Welcome to Wave News at 5. I'm John Bull. We begin with breaking news of the case of a Louisville pediatrician who tried to hire a hitman to kill her ex-husband. Stephanie Russell pleaded guilty to the murder for hire plot earlier this year. And now prosecutors are saying that after she pleaded guilty, she may have tried to hire somebody else to kill her ex-husband. Ward Jollis has details in a Wave News alert. Yeah, John, in a shocking new memo from the U.S. Attorney's Office, prosecutors say that just a day after Stephanie Russell pleaded guilty in court for trying to hire someone to kill her ex-husband, she allegedly tried to solicit others for a new murder plot against him. Now, just as a reminder, it was back in May of 2022 that the former prospect pediatrician was first arrested. After a long legal battle, she eventually admitted to hiring a hitman to stalk and eventually kill her ex-husband by pleading guilty to the crimes in federal court. The ex-husband, though, worth noting, was never hurt here. That guilty plea was back on April 22nd of this year. And then, just a day later, Prosecutors say she was back at it, trying to get fellow inmates in jail to sign on to a new murder plot against her ex-husband. Court documents say, quote, the day after Russell entered her guilty plea, the United States was notified that Russell, who is in pretrial detention, was soliciting other female prisoners in a renewed effort to find someone to murder her ex-husband. To believe that Russell had engaged in ongoing violations of state or federal law after she entered her guilty plea, the United States now objected to Russell receiving any reduction for acceptance of responsibility. Now, despite this being a clear violation of Russell's original plea deal, the memo actually says that technically prosecutors can't withdraw their original plea agreement. That agreement was for Russell to serve anywhere from 8 to 12 years in prison in exchange for a guilty plea. So prosecutors are now requesting that the judge sentence her to the maximum sentence of 12 years due to this alleged wrongdoing. That sentencing will be on July 31st. John. Wow. Okay. Thank